Conservatives once again feeling targeted by big tech companies. Google and Meta accused of censoring content related to the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. This is absolutely censorship. Supporters of the former president taking to X, posting what they've noticed, such as Meta labeling a highly circulated photo of Trump in the moments after the shooting as altered. Others, including Donald Trump Jr., alleging Google purposefully blocked search terms related to the assassination attempt. A Facebook spokesperson admitting to an error, saying the issue has been fixed. Google telling Fox Business no manual action was taken regarding their content. That is what I believe is critical for Americans to understand. These internal tools can affect how and what information Americans do end up seeing. The former president, though, calling it another attempt at rigging the election urging supporters to go after Meta and Google. Democrats, though, also feeling targeted. X, formerly known as Twitter, now owned by Trump supporter Elon Musk, temporarily locked the account White Dudes for Harris after the group raised $4 million for Kamala Harris. X reinstated the account a few hours later after a windfall of complaints. Both in this Trump situation and on Twitter, where you saw a quick reaction, a quick response from the social media platforms that want to get it right. Because at the end of the day, they do want to create a community, an online space where their users are happy and they're going to keep coming back. GOP lawmakers getting involved. Representative Matt Gates writing a letter to Homeland Security Director Alejandro Mayorkas demanding they hand over any documents related to big tech's alleged censorship of the Trump assassination attempt. On Capitol Hill, I'm Kayla Gaskins.